As you may know, QuickBooks Online does have a feature uh, with their mobile app of taking pictures of receipts and then uploading them to your QuickBooks Online uh, file. That's free. It's included in your monthly subscription. I wanted to give you guys the option of an app called Scannable. It's a free app that I believe has a little bit better uh, functionality in terms of scanning. And also, too, you don't have to always log in every time you uh, use your mobile app. So if you're taking a lot of receipts on the go, you don't need a lot of functionality, this may be a good free option for you. There's a little bit of a setup from the beginning in order to get everything working, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing to do is to make sure if you haven't already to get your email forwarding set up within QuickBooks Online Receipts. So if you have your banking and then receipts. We'll see here, if you have it set up, it'll, it'll show here. We haven't set it up yet, so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So you just click this link right here. And then you can create a custom email that's something at qbodocs.com. You can name this whatever you want, your name, business name. Um, and what this essentially will do is that anytime you forward a receipt or email, anything like that to this address, it'll upload right here to the receipt section. And then from here, you can either categorize it using the receipt, creating a new expense, or if you already had the expense created, then you can match it to an expense and it'll attach that receipt to the transaction within QuickBooks Online. And that PDF of the receipt will be there for pretty much ever in the cloud on your storage here. And that is IRS audit proof. So let's go ahead and set up the email here. We'll just call this MA receipts. Okay, so we can hit done. And now uh, what we wanna do is make note of this email here. And then we're going to uh, go into the actual app now on the phone, and then I'll show you the next steps from here. So now looking at the phone here, uh, I have the contacts and the scannable app as well, uh, kind of right next to each other. And um, the reason for that is, is we're going to add a contact using this new custom uh, re uh, email that we just set up so that we can easily forward the emails through the scannable app. So that will be the first step in this process. So if you go into your contacts and then hit new, and you can put something along the lines of QuickBooks receipts. And then you can add email. And the one we just created, you can type in here. And we can close that. And now, so the scannable app, I have everything already set up, so, but usually you would just sign in. It's just a standard, you put in an email, password, uh, relatively straightforward. And again, there's no fee or anything associated with it. So, um, so I can go, go ahead and show you the process here. So if you open up the app here, then it just immediately goes into the scam. You don't want to need to log in, anything like that. And so you have the option here. If you click on this button right here uh, with the three dots, you will kind of have the settings here. And probably the main thing here that you can do is you can toggle between auto, which how it's scanning right here. And if you look at the receipt, it starts trying to scan it. Or if that's not working for you, then you can create it to manual and then you can just hover over the receipt anywhere and, manu and manually take the picture. So let's put it back to auto here. And then, so if you're looking at the receipt, again, if you just hover over it, usually does a great job of taking out that receipt. So you see how it originally took the picture and it had the whole kind of iPad case in the background at first and then it was able to cut all of that out and only have the receipt. Um, I think this, again, I think this functionality of the scanning is, is superior to QuickBooks app, and that's why I'm kind of uh, sharing this workaround to, in order to send these scans into your QuickBooks. So um, once we have this scan here, the first thing we're gonna make sure is if you click this little button right here, it'll make sure that it's set to PDF. I believe once you do that once, it should just default be that and stay there, but you wanna make sure that, that that is definitely a PDF. So once that is set, we can hit the send button here, send it by mail. And then right here, this is why we put this in the contacts, is um, this right here, if you just type in receipts or start typing in whatever your custom email is, we'll be able to see this receipts email that we just created here really easily. So you just click on that and then you click send. And then that will, again, forward it to that. Uh, it'll forward it into here where, again, we can categorize it, things like that. So let's go ahead and hit done. I'll show you a few more functionalities here. So kind of workflow would be great if you're just in Starbucks or something. You seem to really quickly add one receipt. Um, now, if, you want to, if you're waiting till the end of the week and you want to do everything, you want to have a bunch of 
uh, receipts to say you have them in your wallet or something, you want to do like 10, 20 at a time. What you can do is you can do the same process, scan the receipt, and let's say we put another one there and it'll scan it as well. And then another one will scan it as well. And so, so right there, for example, let's say that I didn't do a great job. You can go through and kind of, you can delete this as well individually, but let's say that we have all the, let's say we have 10, 20 receipts here. And then what we can do at that point is we can take all of these as a batch and then basically do the same thing. We can uh, set them all to PDF and then forward them all all at the same time to that same email that we have, we have set up. So again, I believe this is superior to uh, the QuickBooks app to where you're having to log in every time. Um, you can't choose between the auto kind of scan search or the manual picture. Um, so it's a little bit of a setup at first, but I believe once it's set up, it could be beneficial for you. It's again, it's all free. And I just believe it's nice to have this tool of the more superior scanner in order to still send it to your QuickBooks online file.